Welcome back, Meat Militia. Today, for yet another addition to our hashtag Get Loaded Fries collaboration, we're going to be doing a Loco Moco loaded tater tot on the Blackstone. It's time to cook, so fall in. Alright, so for the ingredients list today, super simple. Uh, we're going to be using some Orida tater tots for our fry component. Uh, wanting to emulate the rice of a loco moco, uh, and I think the tater tot just does a better job of that than a regular fry. Uh, we've got two smash burgers that we're gonna do on the Blackstone and some teriyaki spam that's already been diced up. We're just gonna warm that through, get a little bit of color on it, and then of course, an egg. Inside, Mrs. Militia is preparing the special gravy. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we bring it in, or I should say bring it out and assemble the fry. So as the oil is warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and get the spam on the griddle. As we get a little bit closer to dropping the tots, I'll do the smash burgers and the egg, and we'll take it to that point. So for now, I have all three burgers on low. When we get ready to do the burgers, I'll crank the heat up so we get a nice uh, sear uh, on the smash burgers. But I'm just gonna start with dropping the spam on that. It's gonna allow some of the fat and juices to come out of that and render. And I wanna get a nice crispy coating because this is gonna be our garnish. With the uh, loco moco fry that we did on the food truck, we do also, and I forgot to mention it in the intro, use the Blackstone teriyaki seasoning on the fries, uh, and then this is teriyaki spam. So bring some of that Polynesian, Asian, Hawaiian flavors over, uh, and we feel it pairs really, really well uh, with the brown gravy, the teriyaki uh, notes that we get from the, from the shake and the spam, and then the gravy ties everything together. This is gonna be really good. It's already picking up color. It's not going to take any time at all. Couldn't you technically eat spam right out of the can? It's a fully cooked, fully cooked product. You can eat it cold right out of the can. Um, I highly recommend that you at least toast it up. Again, bacon, sausage, potatoes, and things like spam. Uh, that's what that's where the blackstone really shines uh, but if you don't have a blackstone a regular frying pan or your cast iron pan uh, on your on your stove top works just fine and just put a little color on it and it changes everything it changes everything when it comes to processed meats i like the way my spam looks i picked up this little cast iron lodge pan at walmart this morning i'm just gonna scoop the spam up there is quite a bit of sugar uh, in this teriyaki spam, uh, so it does brown up quick. You don't want to walk away from the grill. So all I'm going to do is put it in this little pan. Then I can set that right up on my Blackstone cooling rack, and it'll sit warm until I need it. So we are ready. Our tots have been sitting out for a little while, so tots you can't pre-thaw necessarily like a, like a fry because they'll start to fall apart on you. But I do like to let them sit a little bit uh, so it doesn't cool down your oil as much, they get a better crisp. It just turns out better in the end. So I'm gonna load up my basket Boy, we couldn't have asked for better weather today. It's like, was it like 75 today? 
70. Yeah, 70, 75, little light overcast, absolutely perfect. So our oil's up to temp. There we go, nice angry boil. Is that enough? Let's throw a couple more in there. Watch out, splash coming. There we go. I am gonna set these aside. I'm gonna crank up the Blackstone now that we've dropped that, and I'm gonna get started on the burger. We're just doing three ounce balls on this. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do one or two uh, different fries. I think I'm only gonna do one, but I am gonna make it a double. Uh, so this is gonna be more militia style. Have we used that teriyaki seasoning on anything else? I think we did it on some chicken, but I don't think we put it on a, on a video. Mm. Got my new Blackstone Burger Press. Ooh, you can smell the teriyaki already. You can smell it. Perfect. Now on a on a loco moco, there's no cheese. I was gonna say. And I always thought that it needed cheese, but we tried it with cheese, and it. I don't want to say that it takes away, um, but it certainly doesn't add anything. There's a certain kind of flavor combo that you're looking for with the loco moco and cheese doesn't fit in that mix. Uh, I, I think I've talked about it before, but when something tastes good, there's a little bit of science behind it. Uh, it. It generally is because you have a balance between sweet and salty with enough fat to transport those flavors all around your mouth and a little bit of what would be called umami or protein uh, or savory uh, in the mix. Not salty, but the umami that, that comes from protein and other things like mushrooms and soy and things like that. And this combination has that. The teriyaki brings the sweet, uh, the spam brings the salty, the burger brings the umami, and then the tots tie everything together and we're gonna hit it with that, uh, with that brown gravy and put a fried egg on top this is going to be fantastic. All right, we're getting some nice lacing on the burger. The juices have come up. Let's see how we did. Nice crust on that one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tip that again. A little bit of teriyaki. Put those right up there on the warming rack. You may have noticed. Brought out the gravy. Now I'm gonna kill the heat. Okay? I'm gonna kill the heat. Let that cool down a little bit. By the time that cools down, we want the griddle surface not too hot. Uh, I'm going to say about 350 and right now we're at 420, so I want that to cool down just a little bit for the egg. Uh, and in the meantime, we'll pull the tots, toss them, and then we're ready to assemble. Let those go for just a second. Put down a little bit of oil. Don't break the yolk, John. I know, I know, I know. Don't do it. Pressure's on. One grade A butt nugget. Mm. Now you may remember last week, a couple videos ago, we were talking about pepper. And I didn't know if I had three corn, four corn, or five corn. We did a little research. Turned out I had four corn peppercorn in my grinder. 
And that's just not enough for meat militia. So we found some five corn peppercorn, and that is what is in there now. Five different peppercorns. We've got black, we've got white, we've got pink, we've got green, and this has allspice. The allspice peppercorn in it to add just that little je ne sais quoi, that little special something. All right. That is a good looking egg. Just let it kind of come up. Almost there, almost there. Again, the Blackstone Teriyaki. Gonna hit those tots while they're hot. Listen to that crisp. Those babies are gonna be dynamite. Pop, pop, mmm. I'll wait till they cool mm -mm. off. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like candy. It's like mm. fried candy. One perfectly cooked egg. I'm gonna put that back on there, I think. Just let that white set. Gravy's looking perfect. I love it. I like it. Let's go ahead and pull this. Set that right there. Let's assemble. So for our basket liners, we're just using the Blackstone parchment. They don't really sit down in there all that great, but once they get some, some fries. How you doing, bud? You all right over there? All right. Let's load some beautiful tots in there. I like the look of that. Yes, yes. Let's go ahead and put a couple of burgers. Now I think we've got to do the spam, right? Or do we do the, uh, the gravy? I think we do the gravy. Yep, I think we're gonna do the gravy. So let's ladle. Now the gravy, I'm gonna give you the secret recipe. It doesn't get any easier. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Oh my gosh. It's one packet of the McCormick brown gravy. It is one packet of the McCormick au jus. We okay? We're okay. I'm gonna use my hands. I'm the only one eating today. Well, friends and family. And I wash my hands. Put a little teriyaki spam on that as garnish. I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that done. And there you have it. The Get Loaded Loco Moco Loaded Tots on the Blackstone. Let's see how we did. All right, so now it's time for the taste. I'm gonna do a little shout out to the Wall Twins because we know it can look amazing. <laughs> this absolutely is probably the best looking Locomoco fry that, it, that I've ever done, including what we did on the trailer. It can smell amazing. And I can tell you that this is my new favorite. The smells that are coming off in that background sweetness, 
just makes it. But if it doesn't taste amazing, then it's all for naught. Babe, let's see how we did. Want me to cut you a piece? Yeah, cut me a piece, get a little bit of, oh, uh, look at that runny yolk. I'll give that to you over there. Beautiful. Okay, there's a, right there. Oh. Get a little bit of this, get a tot, piece <laughs> of burger. It's hard to get it. Some of the spam. I might be wishful thinking to try mm -hmm. and get a little of you everything. You may need two bites. Mm. Okay. Remember what I was talking about? Sweet, salty, uh, fatty. Mm. This has it all. The, um, the teriyaki coming through on those tots is crazy good. It makes the whole dish. The hamburger, the burger. yep, the burger is perfect. And, it, and again, reinforces the flavoring with the Blackstone teriyaki. And then that creamy yolk and the gravy mixes together to create this incredible sauce that just ties everything together. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you like Spam or you don't like Spam, uh, I would say, you know, do your preference but it definitely adds to this. It does. It definitely sure. adds to this. Just reinforces mm. the teriyaki flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is killer. Try this at home. Okay. If this is your first time visiting our channel, thank you so much. We absolutely appreciate it. Please consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Either way, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you like or didn't like. That's how we get better at what we do. If you are a subscriber, you've watched our channel before, thank you so much. We absolutely appreciate you. Consider sharing this video on your other social media outlets. That's how we get our name out and grow the Militia Nation. I know you're going to love this. We absolutely do. But until next time, get outside and cook. <laughs>